Okay, so let's change their spike days to go. But I think things are already unlocked. I've been avoiding a zoom for half a week, I guess. Oh, that's pretty close. Oh, I think this is another thing. This is another thing. Oh, this had nothing to do with the event. <laughs> okay, this had nothing to do with the event. Oh, come on, that was pretty close too. <laughs> okay. Come on, boss. You can't just let this one slide. You've painstakingly built up a reputation as the bona fide Beetle Battle King. You can't let that brat get away scot free. Mm. Yeah, that little punk must have used some underhanded trick to catch you off guard. I just know it. Hey, hey, chill, boys, chill. Relax. I just underestimated my opponent. And can you blame me without boring the kid looked? <laughs> so, yeah, no worries. That fight didn't count. Anyway, enough about that. We're gonna stick to the plan, all right? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl is going ahead. Then we'll bring out Crimson Staff. You know, the one I've been training for years. Ah, just imagine it. A whole audience cheering me on as Crimson Staff gets ready to crush its opponent. That kiddo will be trembling with fear. No tricks this time, no sir. Just an easy win for Ito. <laughs> All right, boss. Way to go. But we don't know when Shinobu's coming back. Where do we even start with organizing the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl? Based on our experience with the almighty Arataki great and glorious drum along festival, we'll need to register the event with the Tenryo Commission and obtain a permit. And I think we also need proof of a venue rental. We're going to need to pay for all that stuff somehow. If we want the Extreme Brawl to be even more extravagant than the Drumalong Festival, we'll need to spend at least three times the Mora. Stop! 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 We don't say Tenryo Commission out loud, okay? <laughs> it gives me migraines. So we need some funds, huh? Easy! Just need to tweak our three-day weekend policy, as well as our one-day week policy. Let's work flat out and do two days on, four days off. That way, we'll work an extra four days between us, which means we'll earn four times as much. <laughs> we'll be raking in the mora. Amazing, boss! Then all we need to figure out is how to make up the numbers for our team. And it doesn't matter who we pick, because you're practically a one-man army. Shoot, that's right. That brat said he'll be bringing five of his top guys to fight us fair and square. But boss, you're the only one in our gang who's any good at beetle fighting. If they come at you in waves, you're gonna have a hard time no matter how good you are. Ah, come on you two, it's a little early to be getting cold feet. You're thinking too many steps ahead. Where's your Arataki gang attitude? Come on, I'll find a way to deal with this easy peasy lavender melon squeezy. Maybe I can hit up my usual beetle fighting crowd. Or maybe I can visit Naganohara Fireworks and see if I can rope that gal into it. Oh, uh, scratch that. I if I did that, then news of me losing to that brat would spread around Hanamizaka. Ugh, my reputation would never recover. True. So, Bull Checker, what are you up to this time? Ah! Oh, you scared me. When did you get here? Extraordinary and accelerating beetle rock. Hey, 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 don't forget the extreme part. Can't do without the coolest bit of the name, you know. Compadre, you'll understand my passion for beetle fighting eventually. You just need more practice. Ah, so you're looking for a way to recover your pride after a humiliating defeat, are you? 
What? No, come on, it's not like that. I was ambushed. Ambushed, I'm telling ya! That's right. Some poser calling himself Grandmaster Hanakado challenged the boss in a brief moment of exhaustion after an intense beetle battling session. He used a ridiculously huge Oni Kabuto and flipped boss's beetle over in a matter of seconds. And then he said something like, Welcome to the world of real beetle fighters. Mamaru, Mamaru. Easy on the details, my dude. I think I understand the situation now. Anyway, compadre, I've heard that you're talented at pretty much everything. You pick up new skills almost instantly, and before you know it, you're a pro. Paima knows what you're going to say next, bullchucker. You're going to ask us to avenge you and defeat that Grandmaster Hanakado for free, aren't you? For free? Flying Lavender Melon, do you really think that I, Arataki Ito, have no code of honor? Listen, compadre, if you do this for me, I'll buy you both lunch for the next two months. One bowl of signature ramen every day for two whole months. How's that sound? One bowl every day? Oh, the money. Now that's an offer worth considering. Mm, did you finally land a lucrative gig? <laughs> That's the result of Boss's hard-won victory. Some little phony was going around calling himself the bona fide Beetle Battle King, and Boss couldn't put up with that. So, Boss challenged him and said whoever wins gets the title. After 92 brutal rounds of Beetle battling that lasted one full day and night, the Boss finally emerged victorious. Well, I guess in the his opponent ran out of patience. But the kid offered Boss a one free bowl of ramen daily coupon from his family's ramen stall in exchange for giving the title back in two months. We don't know how good his family's ramen is, but the sheer quantity being offered made it too good to refuse. Besides, Boss's beetle fighting techniques are improving so fast that he'll easily have won a more impressive title by two months from now. It's a great deal! The only slight snag is we forgot to ask him where the ramen stall is. <laughs> don't, don't sweat the details. Anyway, compadre, flying lavender melon, that's my offer. All that ramen, just for you. Wait! We haven't agreed yet! I've already challenged this Grandmaster kid, and he accepted. He's gonna bring some reinforcements with him to face off against us. As for the venue, I think I have an idea. But first, compadre, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid and sort out all the pesky paperwork at the Tenryo Commission. Sound good? Good. All right then, my compadre and melon duo. Let's hop to it. Sheesh! Ito sure seems excited about all this. Ugh, guess there's no backing out now, huh? Uh, we might as well go along with this. We just have to learn how to beat a fight and help him beat his opponents, right? Hmm, sounds simple enough. Isn't the beetle doing all the fight? Let's see around me. Here we come. We'll be pro. Nikabutos, no time. Oh, right. Listen to you! Is Bullchecker's childishness really that infectious? Because one Ito is more than enough. After dealing with the team recommendations past paperwork, you had to the the Ito mansion already. But wouldn't we have to pay? They were talking about paying the commission. Oh, we're here. Not bad. Mamaru and Akira have delivered the goods. Let's start setting this baby up. Hey, experience construction cute. The grill builds the arena. Ow! There, experience that. <laughs> now this is what I call an arena. Looking pretty good. Booyah, yeah, compadre. Dash. I didn't know you were so handy with this kind of thing. And this uh, awesome poster me? I made is the uh. cherry on top. He captures the mood perfectly. <laughs> Great carpentry traveler. <laughs> Great carpentry traveler. Hand great artwork, boss. This place seems pretty far from Inazuma City. You sure anyone's gonna show up to watch? Oh, you bet they will. When you're as famous as I am, people will flock to watch you. I heard this is the spot where they held the sword fighting contest during the Iridori Festival. That makes this the ideal venue for Oni Kabuto duels. 
Next up, time to show you my invincible Oni Kabuto, Crimson Staff. That was some nice. Oh, it really work. is a red Oni Kabuto. Amazing. Uh, it's as if it's imbued with Pyro. It sure does have a unique uh, aura, Pyro. Huh. Paimon didn't expect you to put in this much effort. Where did you find this Oni Kabuto anyway? Can Paimon take a closer look? <laughs> Go ahead, feast your eyes. But I'm afraid I can't tell you what makes Crimson Staff such a special specimen. That's my little secret. Huh? That smells so familiar. What is that? Wait, Valerie Jam? Huh? What? Oh, uh, you're imagining things. <laughs> you must be, like, super hungry or something. <laughs> yeah, uh... Speaking of which, boss, you haven't applied a protective coating on top of the war paint yet, right? If it rains, then the 9,000 mora we spent on the imported jam is gonna go to waste. Why Don't worry. Things? The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl hasn't started yet. There's still time to give Crimson Staff one last layer of protective coating. All right, you guys go grab some flyers and start bringing in the crowds. In the meantime, I'll be helping my compadre and flying lavender melon here get up to speed. After that, we'll celebrate over a meal. Oh, so much going on. I've really got my work cut out for me today. Ooh. This your venue? Not bad. Bigger than I expected. It's Grandmaster Hanakado! He's here! Wait, what? You're not supposed to know about this place yet. Aren't you forgetting something, Bonafide Beetle Battle King? We elite beetle fighters can sense each other's presence. Or how else would we have crossed paths last time? Looks to me like you're still busy frantically preparing. Is that because you don't have a clue how to beat us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't know, me and my Oni Kabuto gotta get our brainwaves in sync before a battle. And until we're ready to roll, I always conserve my energy and keep a low profile. I just underestimated the strength of your Beetle Battler's sixth sense is all. Huh? So that's the kid Ito lost to? Yeah, he does look pretty normal. But the way he talks is pretty unique. It almost feels like... He was born to be Bull Chucker's arch nemesis. Actually, I reckon they get along pretty well. We should let them catch up for a bit first. <clears throat> Grandmaster Anacado! You did well to track me down, I'm impressed. Looks like this bona fide Beetle Battle King needs to watch out for pretenders to the throne. But you're about to regret showing up here uninvited because you have just earned yourselves a pre Beetle Brawl trouncing. Good! You seem more confident this time. And it sounds like you actually have a game plan. But if I crushed you right away, I'd miss out on all the fun. So I'll let my subordinates play with you first. <laughs> Using your minions to size up the competition now? Then we'll just send out Flying Lavender... Uh, <clears throat> nope, nope. If Flying Lavender Melon's representing the Arataki gang, we gotta rise to the occasion. We'll need a better title. Hmm. Uh, ha! Got it. We'll send Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon out to teach you a lesson! Huh? Why Paimon? Uh, would be Speed Type Paimon or Defense Type Paimon? What? Are they gonna have types like Pokemon? Boss! Are we seriously going to fight them right now? We haven't had time to spread the news about the match yet. Also, your compadre and your compadre's melon haven't even tried beetle fighting before. You make a good point. But the fact is, the kid's here now, and I ain't about to back down. We'll have to put the publicity side of things on hold for now. As for beetle fighting techniques, I'll be mentoring Flying Lavender Melon- Nope, nope! Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon from the side. Battling's the best way to learn. Doesn't matter if you lose. Hey! Why are you assuming that Paimon will lose before it's even started? Go, White Iron Lavender Melon! Show him the might of the Arataki Gang! 
Sending you out first is part of my elaborate strategy, you know. I got my inspiration from a Liyue tale that Shinobu told me. Face their strongest with your weakest, their weakest with your average, and their average with your strongest. Then you're guaranteed to win two out of three rounds. Uh, you may sense. be talented, but you lack practical battle experience. With all the elite beetle battlers here, I'm afraid to say you're a small fry. By sending a dopey little melon up first, we can get one of their best fighters to waste all their strength on the low-flying fruit. <laughs> we'll make short work of them this time. Um, but according to your logic, if you're planning to face their leader, Grandmaster Hanakado, doesn't that make you <laughs> our weakest fighter? Huh? That can't be right. <laughs> Okay. Ugh, you little twerp. I never said my strategy was exactly the same as the one in the story. Fine, fine, fine. Paimon will do it already. But prepare to eat your words, mister! Low flying fruit? Hmm. Paimon will show you! Oh. Oh, so you control them. Tap the forward button to instruct the unit about to expand. A small amount of stamina to move half a tile forward and get closer to its opponent. This move will not do damage. Hold the forward button to instruct the Onikabura to, to charge its energy. When the charging process ends, the Onikabura will expend a greater amount of stamina to rush forward. When this rush hits an opponent, it can do damage. The stamina consumed, the distance traveled, and damage dealt all, will all change based on the amount of time spent charging. Okay. A full charge rush will take the Onikabuto two times forward. Okay. When the Onikabuto reaches its opponent's exact, exact position upon finishing its rush and hits it, it can perform a piercing strike and to do greater damage. You can trigger this special attack by tapping to advance. And in overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. Okay, so I have to stop at the exact spots to be better. The time spent charging decides your rush distance. And you can use the charging process to judge how far your only capital will advance forward. Uh, tap the back button to extend a certain amount of stamina. And instructs your own cover to move one tile back to and dodge your opponent's attack. If the distance or timing of the dodge is incorrect, your own cover may still take damage. If both only cover to unleash their attacks at the same time, your own cover will be knocked down without doing damage to the opponent. Take. Uh, take note of the. Attack timings and should your plans change, can self charging to avoid unnecessary stamina danger. But isn't that a button I have to press on the screen? How can I press another thing while I'm holding? Oh, I think my battery is dying. Hey. Yeah, my battery was dying. Uh, Electra. Ugh, what a puny opponent. And what a garish Onikabuto. Pathetic. You can paint your Onikabuto any color you want. The only thing that counts in battle is their electro affinity, the source of their power. Being able to pick out a prize Oni Kabuto from the crowd is all that matters. That's what makes or breaks every beetle fighter. That's a strange theory. Even Paimon knows that performance in battle matters the most. Hmm. Honing your beetle fighting skills is the most important thing. That's exactly right, Mini Melon. Nice sounding theory, but it ain't gonna help you if you don't know how to fight. Listen up, White Iron Lavender Melon. You need to watch your opponent's Oni Kabuto closely so you can dodge its attacks. Then in the opening right afterwards, you strike back! Okay. As long as the opponent's in range, Crimson Staff will hit him hard. Got it! So 
So when the opponent attacks, we get our Onikabuto to retreat. And when there's an opening, we move it forward and strike while they're still recovering. Sounds simple enough. Paimon will give it a go. The Traveler heard the explanation too, so Paimon bets we're both ready for battle. Are you seriously learning beetle fighting right before a match? You underestimate who you're up against. I Enough like this talk. Kid. Put your Onikabuto on the table and show me what you've got. Little crawl is about to begin. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that teacher is going to come to move forward. That a okay. Hold. Oh, okay. It's halfway there. Uh. You sure showed them who's boss. You, my little friend, have earned yourself an egg roll later today. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So strong, Paimon. Ah, uh, Grandmaster Hanakado. I lost to a complete novice. I let you down. Don't worry. It seems that there are a force to be reckoned with. We should inform the other generals to prepare for battle. You defy my expectations once again, bona fide Beetle Battle King. I didn't expect you to find such formidable warriors so quickly. From today onward, I will send one of my generals here daily to face you. Be sure that you survive until the final battle. Otherwise, your declaration of war will become the laughingstock of the entire Beetle fighting world. Aw, oh, wait just a minute. Leaving so soon? What are you, scared? <sighs> He's so annoying. Turning up here uninvited, talking to us in that smug tone, then taking off before we're done with him. From what Grandmaster Hanagato said, seems like he's gonna send some of his minions to challenge us. Guess we'll have another battle before too long, huh? <sighs> That's right. Looks like we won't have time to make the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl the grandest event ever organized by the Arataki gang. Meh, works for me. Wow. An audience would have been sweet, but at the end of the day, we, we came wait. here to battle. And battling is what we're gonna do. We Look at you stage. flying, uh, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon. <laughs> Defeating your first powerful enemy, starting to make a name for yourself as a fighter, huh? Really gets me into the fighting spirit! Gets me thinking about myself back in the day when I first entered the Hanamizaka beetle battling scene. Yeah, taking on the pros for the first time. I'm sure you've had your fight spirits, but you didn't exactly make a name for yourself back then, did you? Oh, so did you also take down an expert when you first started Bull Checker? The boss got brutally beaten. I think boss is saying he was inspired by White Iron Lavender Melon's performance because he himself was defeated back in the day. Come on, that's all in the past now. Spilled milk, water under the bridge. It's up to the three of us now. Me, the bonafide Beetle Battle King, Paimon, the sky-cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, and Traveler, the, uh... The Oni King's right hand. The three of us have to unite to take down Grandmaster Hanakato and all his minions. Before we face each opponent, we need to talk strategy. As long as we win more matches than we lose, Grandmaster Hanakato will have to face me personally. Ball Checker seems to be taking this all pretty seriously. Still, that beetle fight was pretty fun. And we do get two months worth of free ramen if we help him win this. Let's go along with it and do our best! And um, you still haven't seen me yet, sure? 
going to show my stuff to you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Just follow my lead and give your all in battle. Grandmaster Hanakato's about to get more than he bargained for! Hmm. Oh, they're numbered. No, I didn't. Splendid! Splendid! I want to talk to him. I did not expect the Arataki gang to defeat so many mighty beetle fighters. I didn't. It seems that you are well versed in this art. I take back what I once said. You are respectable and worthy opponents, and I must face you as such. Okay, let's with my to the full end. strength. Alrighty, Bull Checker, you're our leader. It's your time to shine. And I uh, don't take what was said earlier seriously. What did you say here? You're up on a fine beetle battle with King. King the King versus the Grandmaster, and this would be legendary. <laughs> oh, it's on! The final showdown and my soon-to-be final victory! I don't know how you've been leading your crew, but the results speak for themselves. The Arataki Gang rules! Grandmaster Hanakato, get ready to battle. Okay, can I choose to not start yet? Okay, let's go in order. Thing gross. Arataki Yang, I'm here to duel! Oh, it, what now? Has Grandmaster Hanakato sent another kid to challenge me? Is he running out of people? Because this is some serious bottom of the barrel material. It's not you I'm after. Empty vessels make the most noise. This blonde guy, on the other hand, looks like a strong and able warrior. I take it that he's the real leader of the Arataki gang. <laughs> now that's what Vaivon calls a good judge of character. Go on, praise him some more! Hey, hey, what are you two talking about? Well, my compadre here is strong for sure, but, uh... He's just outside help. Make no mistake, there's only ever been one leader of the Arataki gang, and that is yours truly, Arataki Ito. Oh, should I be called the Oni King's temporary right hand? Can you just let me be the leader for a few days? Hey, nice idea! The Arataki gang may not be the strongest gang in the world, but being a leader would still be pretty cool. If it's cool with you, Paimon could be called Arataki for three days only, Paimon. Or Paimon, temporary leader of the Arataki gang. Hey, 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 don't let your opponent lead you astray. She's clearly just... Uh, just trying to sow discord. Yeah, okay. All part of a nefarious plot to turn us against each other. Just wait till I defeat her boss. She'll be begging to take back her words. Don't flatter yourself. I don't care about the Arataki gang's internal affairs. I just want to battle strong opponents. Let's see just how good Blondie here is at beetle fighting. Okay, unlock seven to clear and challenge the home with difficulty. Green challenge the higher difficulty setting. You can get more super blood. Let's finish considerable combat strength and medium income close range. Attacks consecutively medium movement speed. All in details. Hmm. Mallet this measure. The previous one had a name, you didn't pay attention. A more normal when it comes to the prefers to close in and attack with consecutive strikes. Okay. Let's Go here. You've got this. This will be a walk in the park for you. Yeah. Remember the tips that White Iron Lavender Melon and I shared with you previously. Time your moves right and catch her off guard. Dream on. You'll never dodge my moves because I never miss.
<laughs> I didn't notice the last step. Uh, okay. Uh, it even blocked this track that could smash big rock. Unbelievable. Try again, it'll be just the same difficulty. Right. Ah, good. Okay. And it's best. It's a shame that we are not strong enough. Okay. Oh, let me check the, the things here. I. Oh. Even details. That is not for timing. No, it's just difficulties. Okay, everything is unlocked already. Right. Scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Undisciplined, inelegant, unoriginal, uninspired, and completely uncoordinated. Hey, what you complaining about? Oh, uh, let me guess. All your teammates we defeated? Ugh. I'm talking about your fighting style. Oh, uh -huh. Have you been hit in the head by a specter or something? This ain't some circus show, pal. You want to know what my style is? Uncheckable strength, unwreckable will, and undefeatable beetles, that's what. I can give you a demonstration, if you dare. Ugh, you bring back some bad memories. I do not deal well with loud and obnoxious types like you. Ah, but this blonde fellow looks like easy pickings. <laughs> All right, I'll yeah, challenge I him. I stronger. <laughs> Padre, did you hear what this joker just said? He thinks you're an easy win. So, uh, how about you show him a little Arataki gang hospitality? Oh, no. Please don't bully me. Raymond doesn't get it. These people haven't researched their opponents at all. All they're doing by coming one at a time is contributing to our winning streak. Grandmaster Hanakato's team members are a real mixed bag. They're no match for us three when it comes to strategy. We just started. We don't have strategy yet. Considerable long distance strength attacks with thunder strikes. Very job. Ooh, triple strike gunblade mage. A more normal one. Couple of the first to keep its distance and launch thunder strikes. Can I launch thunder strikes? Uh, how does it do that? Beetle battling is a spectator sport. The performance should be visually captivating, even artistic. You, however, don't seem to comprehend that. Sheesh, this guy is pretentious. Just relax and enjoy it for crying out loud. If all you care about is how it looks, it stops being a battle and turns into a show. You said it, White Iron Lavender Melon. Now, time to teach him a lesson, compadre. Oh. oh, that's not right. I no, I can't accept this. You got lucky, that's all. Okay, so let's defeat you on a higher difficulty. I like that.
No, I want to fall. Embarrassing, weak, useless. I am but a failure. I agree. Where has been signed? The was over. Um, Time three. to go. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. I have come to avenge Electra. Prepare your Oni Kabuto. You're his father. After I defeat you, I'll take down the entire Arataki gang one member at a time. Looks like we've got an adult this time. Was the person an adult? Why is this guy more excitable than the kids? Uh, there's no need to be afraid, Paimon. Uh, just another affair on your cat, Paimon. Well, White Iron Lavender Melon, looks like this guy's challenging you to a duel. And there's no backing down from something like that. Take Crimson Staff with you and go nuts! You know, we're all doing it the same beetle. Is it bad for its health or something? Impressive melee combat strength, attack with quakes, enhance resistance to interruption. Super heavy defensive formation. A huge and heavy Onikabuto that can enter a status that increases its resistance to interruption. Mm. Uh, the friendly spar and hone wheel difficulties. Requires two rushes or one person strike to break through this status. Uh, on a fanatic passion difficulty, only a person strike can break through um, its enhanced status. Okay. So I have to measure my. Okay. Mm. Alright, time for Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon second match! Uh, why is this only Kabuto so big? Don't you worry, an Oni Kabuto that's too big is one that's too slow. It's no match for Crimson Staff. Your worthless little Oni Kabuto oh, doesn't stand a hard. chance. Even if you gave it to me for free, it'd be a waste of precious cage space. Calculation of mine. I never knew we were so good. Okay. Now it'll be a bit tougher. Damn, yeah, I don't have. Ah, oh, come on, I don't have space to. And don't have space to charge it. I'm dying already. Uh, it can get interrupted while I'm there. To charge this in which it's extra location to use the person strike. Judicious is a technique to help defeat your foes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well, I didn't. I understood. I didn't catch the hang of it. Ooh, okay. Get out of the way.
now. It doesn't have stamina for it. defensive here. Damn, I was at the right distance. It can't be charging already. Okay, okay, that was good. Oh, come on, what's out of it already? There. I see. It's true that Beatles battle, Beatle battles never about the strength or age, but talent excel my feet. Okay, now four. Ring rock. Hey, which one of you is the ringleader? Rook. Step up. It's time to fight. I am Grand Rook Sinichi, a giant among giants. Grandmaster Hanakado is demanded the head of the Artaki Gang's leader, and I'm here to collect it. Whoa, he looks fierce and sounds a cue. Seems like we're up against a really strong opponent this time. Where do you get off, huh? And what's the big idea of putting Grand in your name? You trying to steal my limelight, you little punk? Okay, giant among giants. Time to cut you down to size. So tall, <laughs> and you're, you're an oni. You look like you could eat me for breakfast. Why is a guy like you into beetle fighting? It's just a kid's game. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, excuse me, kid's game? Oh, you did not just say that. Seems to me like you don't know the first thing about beetle fighting. Your misconception begs correcting by a veteran, my dude. Hmm, you're gonna fight him now. This guy is overdue for an attitude adjustment. Yeah! Him. Go take him down a notch! You can do it, Bull Chucker! I thought we'd fight just. Looks like this is one. happening. <laughs> Fine! Bring it on! Hmm. Mm. No. Impressive long distance combat strength. Attacks with various electro strikes, extremely agile. Oh, uh, whirling wrecker wheel. A small and agile on encounter that prefers using long range attacks and can fire off lightning bullets by combining the power of electro into a projectile and firing it at its opponent after a short duration. 
on the friendly sparring on the wheel difficulties you can disperse the lightning bullet using a brush attack before it can be uh, using your rush using rush attacks before it can be formed or aim at the fire bullet using a pre-strike to reflect the projectile back at, at this on capital then the fantastic passion difficulty only perf executing a piercing strike first can per can perform this reflection rush attacks will not be able to disperse the bullet okay So, the scenery is wonderful. Surely enough. Don't look down on beetle fighting, rookie. Uh, whatever your name was, even Paimon gets why it's fun. And it's not just about fun either. Beetle fighting is about striving to be stronger and the spirit of competition. If you don't understand that, maybe you should find a new hobby. <laughs> being out trashed. This never happens. Too bad for you though, because talk is cheap. Okay, just want you let them finish. But okay, the bullet doesn't. It's a projectile. I thought it would move towards me. Okay, this is our card. <laughs> it can be down yet. Okay, if the projectiles stay in place, I think I got a better chance than the previous guy. Oh damn. What a formidable rival. I admire your enthusiasm, passion, and I accept my defeat. Okay, now we go to. Uh, what was here? The Unparalleled Beetle Battling Competition. Almighty Attack Extraordinary. Oh, damn. Beetle Battling Competition. Almighty Attack Extraordinary and Accelerating Extreme Beetle Brown is upon us. All are welcome to watch this exciting beetle showdown on the island to the northwest of Arawumi. Shouldn't this be written elsewhere instead of here? Uh, come and witness the crawling moment of bonafide beetle battle king wiping the floor with Grandmaster Hanukado. Oh, or maybe that's what they were going to take around. Oh, the two of you seem to be still working out on the details of Beetle Fighting, preparing for the next game. They don't even know we're here. Uh, so, why don't just leave them to it? Let's watch them fight. Oh. Uh, Onikabuto with an all round development. Okay, it probably does everything. Extremely powerful in combat of all ranges. Can attack with consecutive earthquakes, can attack consecutive thunder strikes, continuous and enhanced resistance to interruption, medium movement speed, has a mysterious hidden power. Uh, Ironclad Middle King. A majestic all round on the capital that can re that can enter a status that increases its resistance to its interruption and also fire off lightning bullets. Uh, when its HP falls to a certain amount, it will retreat to the edge of the field and constantly cause lightning to fall and strike its opponent. Dodging this lightning while getting close and reflecting its this only capital's lightning bullets may hold the key to defeating it. Yeah, so I can't keep a distance after a while because I need to. After many duels, your crimson staff has grown in strength. At least, it's far more confident than when it defeated the Oh, yeah? Hey, you have a good eye for this. Yeah, of course, its improvement is mainly thanks to my expert guidance and tuition.
No, dodge. Oh, I was out. It doesn't dodge orange. Just vanished like that. I need to recharge before going forward. Your tactics are beyond my expectations, but I still have a few extra moves. So, So that thing sometimes. Yeah. Uh, good game. We're taking this thing to a whole new level. One more round. One more round. I think we could have another one. We're attacking. I see. I see. Let us battle once more. This time, I'll see through all of your methods. Victory and defeat no longer seem so important. Let's just battle for fun, shall we? It's rare that I should find such a great opponent. 
It would be a shame to end our battle so soon, would it not? Sure, bring it on. But seeing through my secret beetle fighting techniques? <laughs> nah, little fella, that ain't gonna happen. If you'll admit that I'm the stronger beetle fighter, I'll fight you for as many rounds as you want. Huh. Looks like Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakato are still rearing to go. Well, let's leave them to it. They can battle beetles till the beetle battling is done. Okay, I thought I would have another one. I'll wait until the following day. Oh, hang on. I have to here first. Okay. I know. That here is for me to wait. Oh, just your fighting style differs greatly from mine. I resonate strongly with the passion you imbue into your Oni Kabuto. In time, you shall surely become a true champion of the beetle fighting world. You're pretty good yourself. You managed to win an impressive 570 out of our 1,141 matches. What? <laughs> of all the beetle battle marathons I've fought in my time, you have lasted the longest by far. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed. No, I won 571 rounds, so I'm ahead. Also, you have the home advantage. Taking that into account, it is in fact I who am the superior warrior. Just be huh? well. Why you gotta be so stubborn? I remember our score clear as day, and Mamoru is our witness. Isn't that right, Mamoru? Boss, I... I really can't take it anymore. Please let me sleep for a while. Uh, have they been going at it this whole time without a break? This can be good for the... The capital must be exhausted. The arena must be about to collapse. Fine. Since I'm a generous guy, I can give you one round, no problemo. I'll just defeat you next time. And if you're still not convinced, we'll do the next battle on your home turf. I'll prove that it's about the beetle fighter, not the location. That suits me just fine. Follow me. Oh, hey, compadre. Flying Lavender Melon, you're finally here. Wait a minute. Why is Paimon back to Flying Lavender Melon again? Does Paimon only get a good nickname when she's fighting for you? Yeah, yeah never mind that for now. Here's your two-month free ramen voucher, as agreed. Take it. Ramen voucher? Oh, yeah, right, the ramen! Now that's more like it. I'm celebrating. And uh, the extreme battle, Beetle Brawl is a right. Oh, no, 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 no! This was just a warm up. The almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme Beetle Brawl is still to come. After all, things are way too quiet without an audience. We can't just end the event like this. But the good news is, Grandmaster Hanakato finally let go of his pride and admitted that I'm a strong beetle fighter. Still, we ain't done with each other just yet. I'll be heading to his home turf alone soon, where I'm gonna defeat him once and for all. Once that happens, he'll have to follow my orders. And by that, I mean he'll help us make the almighty Arataki extraordinary and exhilarating extreme beetle brawl the biggest, baddest event ever! <sighs> Thanks again to the two of you. Now, wait here. I'll be back with good news in no time at all. Bullchucker sure seems like he's having fun. 
And we got two months worth of ramen out of it. <laughs> it's a win-win situation. Everyone's happy. That's boss! Boss! There's a letter from Shinobu. Take a look at this. Huh? Where'd the boss go? He was beetle fighting right here just a moment ago. Uh, is it urgent? Because Bullchucker just left with Grandmaster Hanakado. They said they were going to continue their battle. Well, it's not urgent, just a little unexpected. You can read it for yourself if you want. Hmm. Boss, I have yet to complete my business, so I won't be back for a while. Should you have any new ideas and want to drag the boys into new shenanigans, hold your horses first. I'll help you organize matters once I get back. I met a kid while harvesting lavender melons. He is articulate and well-mannered, and he loves beetle battles. Uh, he even has lots of friends in that department. Having heard that you are also an avid beetle brawler, the kid was quite eager to meet you. He even said that he considered joining the Arctic gang if you turn out to be better than him at beetle fights. Give him the addresses of some of your usual haunts so that he can find you himself. By my estimations, you should have met by now, so have fun. Just remember to eat your meals one time. One time. Uh, I'll repeat myself again. Just relax his six to beetle battles for now. Don't drag the gang around on some wild adventure or anything. Okay. What the? So Grandmaster Hanakado is actually part of the Arataki gang? But no, he's going to be now. communication style made Bullchecker feel like he was facing a mortal enemy. Just as Shinobu expected, Bullchecker is spending all his time beetle fighting without resting or eating. But he did get us to organize the beetle brawl event for him. I see what I really call the resting per se. You know, Paimon thinks Shinobu deserves to enjoy the ramen voucher more than we do. Why don't we take her for ramen when she gets back? Hmm. <clears throat> Actually, wait a moment. Bullchucker didn't tell us which ramen stall this voucher is meant to be used at. There's no name. The voucher. Are we supposed to find the store by ourselves? Oh, we do have a voucher. Uh, it's here? No, oh, no, no, it's that that's marked. Uh, no, I guess it will be here. I didn't pay attention to. How it looks like. Ah, here. Uh, thank you, Gibbs, for assisting Bonafide Beetle Battle King or Tech Ito in competing against Grandmaster Hanakado in the Almighty Aratak Extraordinary Accelerating Extreme Beetle Brawl. And it also serves as proof of the rapid rising of two Beetle Fighting Stars Oni King's Right Hand and Sky Cleaving White Arrow Lavender Melon. One of five Beetle Battle King claims that as long as you show this voucher to the stall, you can enjoy a free bowl of ramen for two months straight. But which stall is this stall exactly? It should be written. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, you're still here. That's in case I want to fight again. So here, uh, didn't you leave? Alright, didn't you go check her? Uh, didn't you win Bonafide? But, uh, why does this thing keep auto running when they are speaking? No, what did you say? Uh, how did you sneak back here alone? Did he find the best you? Uh, did you think it was that easy to beat me? When I arrived, one of five beetle battle king had met my grandfather and took a keen interest on how he took care of his Onikabuto. He was chatting eagerly with my grandfather, discussing the beetle's diet and training grounds, and it looked like the conversation was going to take quite a while. Then one of five beetle 
Battle King and his Crimson Staff take a break helps to make our next battle a fair fight. So I came back here to take a look. Well, Paimon kinda gets it. The place you mentioned is your home in your awesome Onikabuto. They are all take, taken care of by your grandfather, so they are big and strong, right? Yeah, that's about it. But there's more to my game than that. Like a little secret that affects the abs of the Beatles. Uh, come and have a look what if I have a chance. Secret, huh? Now Paimon really wants to know what it's all about. Paimon promises to drop by next time. But we also don't know where it is. Uh, the others also have dialogues, extra dialogues. Uh, ah, your that one is really strong, and he's full of righteous words. How can there be such people in this world? About my master Kanakano, your master? Why do you ask? You should never mess with him. You can win him in a debate and, and you probably can defeat him in a bit of fighting either we did probably can defeat him oh you're sounding a little less arrogant than before looks like both checker taught you a little lesson how could you say that i lost to him fair and square i will never be that sore loser who refused to admit defeat i grand rook senichi was outshone by Bonafide Beetle Battle King. Even if he wanted me to change my title from Grain to Pony, I have no objections at all. And since you're his friends, maybe you can put the Grandmaster in at the spot in a way I never thought of. And that was a very clever thing to say. You don't seem like one of those boneheaded bad guys. That's what the Grandmaster taught me. I used to go unnoticed, just a punk who got in fights with other people, looking down on this and that. The Grandmaster introduced me to this kid's game. He told me that pride and ruthlessness isn't enough. If I can't even win in beetle fighting, it means that I'm less than a child. Uh, for s so for a long time, I've been using beetle fighting as a way to prove myself. However, you and the bona fide beetle battle king showed up. It made me wonder if I'd been a little impetuous and misunderstood the true meaning behind Bill fighting. Well, you should think long and hard about that. It's one thing to prove yourself, but it's also important to enjoy the game. Okay, let's go with the Reaper Sword. Electra, how can I avenge you? About Grandmaster Hanukado? Uh, do you think about Brian Green Master Hanakado's secrets out of me. All you need to know is that Green Master Hanakado has the ability to let people see the error in their ways and enable them to appreciate, appreciate the beauty of beetle fighting. Error in their ways? That sounds so melodramatic. No, at that time I was obsessed with woodworking, a cage maker, and completely did not consider how to bring the value of my woodworking skills into play. Then I saw my cousin's, second cousin's uncle's childhood friend's nephew, Electra. Oh, I thought he was like your son or something, really getting into beetle fighting, and I tried to stop him. Luckily, he brought me to see Grandmaster Hanakado. After listening to his speech, I saw how awesome beetle fighting is. And how naive I was. Uh, from then on, I started getting into beetle fighting and put my lifelong woodworking skills into making insect cages to fully support like Electra and Grandmaster Hanakabe. Skyclean on why I love Mello, you should also listen to Grandmaster Hanakabe's speech and then work for him. No way, Paimo is scared just hearing you say those things. There's such big words, but uh, bona fide beetle battles. King's words sound so much better. Uh, why did I even bother talking to you? Go then, while on your ignorance. Not decisive, not sharp, nor quick, nor experienced. There's still room for improvements. About Grandmaster Hamtado. My benefactor, sorry, I don't know much about him either. I only know 
that he has a keen eye for Onikabuto. When no one else was inter interested in my Onikabuto magic show troop, oh, now I'm curious. He was the only one who kept coming to show to my shows. He even memorized the name of every single Onikabuto. So the more he gave me was only enough for me to buy two balls of Onagi Chazuki. He is my biggest and only supporter. I help him for free. Uh, so you used to actually train in Kabuto to put on shows? No wonder you used so many fancy words just now. Well, we'll go watch our only Kabuto show once we finish the battle brawl. Huh, I've been barely able to make ends meet for years, so I'm looking for another way out. If we are faded, you may hear the name Wizard Money Max. Uh, again, years from now. Ah, Wizard Money Max. I didn't notice that was his name. So, the rumors of your formidable strength and resilience are true. You are really tough. That was a good fight. About Grandmaster Hanakado? Why are you asking about Grandmaster Hanakado all of a sudden? You're trying to get some information out of me, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you what I know. He and I are just business partners in a way, so we're not particularly close. Business partners? But <laughs> you're two of just kids. So what? I supply Tsuku Momono groceries dozens of times. I like the small trees and rocks I pulled out when catching on capital. The stuff was made the stuff was then made into bonsai trees and rock gardens, and they look pretty impressive when placed in the store. They are sold in limited quantities from time to time, and together with always promotion, it's pretty good business. Aoi praised me and said that the goods I deliver are great, and could even be worth a third of many precious treasures. Grandmaster Hanakado always buys them at high price. How does he get the money? Saying that he'll use them to build courtyards and hills in his Onikabuto arena and make a camp for his beetles. So, by helping you and Grandmaster Hanakado in beetle fighting, I'm also helping always in my own business venture. Okay, Naipamo understands where the name came from. Anyway, it sounds like my master Hanakado comes from a very rich family. Could his parents be millionaires in skies? Don't know much about that. All I know is that every time he buys my goods, I'll earn enough mora for a few days worth of sacred shrimp crackers. Sacred shrimp crackers, that's it? Seems like he's in, he isn't so rich after all. Uh, what do you mean? You must make a lot of mora then. We actually do. Maybe I'll just hang out with you and you can pay me to be your beetle better. Then I'll get to beetle fight with you every day. Money, money isn't that important. Don't get so excited. Besides, Ignis isn't a beetle fight professional, so even if you come with us, you won't get too many work opportunities. Is that so? Forget about it then. Anyway, after my bonsai rock garden is open, open for sale, don't forget to pay me a visit and buy something. Okay, now I guess we're done. Ain't nobody from the gangs here. Okay, then I'm out.